Okay, for problem number six, we're graphing a um, system of linear inequality. So we'll have a feasible region. All right, so let's do this. Um, I guess with this problem here, it would be best to put everything in slope-intercept form. So I'll start with the first equation. If you have been paying attention to the last couple of problems, you'll notice that right away that we're able to divide the first equation by a number and that number is 2 so anytime you can divide an equation by a number simplify it do so it makes life a little easier for you so let's see here so 2x divided by 2 that will give me x and then 2y divided by 2 that will give me y and then 10 divided by 2 that will give me 5 so if I put this in slope intercept form subtract x you get y is greater than negative x plus 5 that's my first equation. My y-intercept is negative 5. I go down 1 and over 1. All right, now I have to be above, and I draw my dotted line, which you see here. So this equation here, that's that dotted line. And then we have to be above that line. So let's do that. So we have to be above it. It says greater than. And then the next equation here, again, I'll solve, I'll solve, for, um, I'll solve for y. So... I'll add 2x to both sides this time, so y is less than or equal to 2x plus 2. And my y-intercept is 2. My slope tells me go up 2 and over 1. I draw my solid line, which you see there. And because it says less than, we have to be below the line. Okay, so as you can, so here's my feasible region. I have to be above that line and below this one. And so this is a feasible region indicated there. All right, so that's it for problem number six.